Hey guys, Anthony here. Um, I've got the uh, Cupid by Covia, Covia heater. Just came in yesterday. This is the uh, KGH 1203. It's from uh, Korea, South Korea, and uh, took about a week to get here. Ninety nine bucks on Amazon, and um, I'm just doing a a test today. I've already lit it up. I'm going to do it again just to show you guys. There's your on-off switch. It has an automatic igniter. It's got a handle that folds up, and it's got a leg that folds out. And your butane fuel, which is what these are, I keep always keep about a dozen of these in stock, goes in here. You twist it. It locks into place. You just line it up with the uh, little cutout there. And you can see through the hole in the top that it's lined up. And then you simply click the switch, similar to the buddy heater. It'll make a click. The piezo ignition will light the flame. And then you got um, a high and low setting on this. And I bought this. I have the buddy, um, I have the buddy heater, uh, the regular one and the double one. This I wanted for the van. Because uh, the buddy heater is a little bit too much for the van. This I thought would be just right uh, for the uh, van. There's the instructions. Gives you everything you need in here. And uh, comes in a carrying case. Not, not particularly really strong case, but it has a hard case that you could store it in. So basically, I'm just going to light this up. Just get your fuel. Um, you're going to line it inside the uh, hole here. I line it up inside the port. It goes into the top part. You can't see it in the video. Then you just turn it and it locks into place. So your fuel canister just sticks out a little bit there. And then you'll roll out, unfold the leg and the uh, handle. The handle just flops down, but that part doesn't get real hot. Uh, excuse me, I dropped my ruler. Um, and again, I'll put links to this in the description box. I'm going to try to light this so you guys can see it. So let's uh, turn it here. There you go. You got a little flame that comes out of the front a little bit, so you don't want to have it near anything, including your face. And uh, that's it. And then I'm just regulating the... Uh, the dial here on the side it's on you probably can't see the the ceramic screen's going to light up you can see the piezo igniter there that's on and you could hear it and so there it goes you can see the front of it lighting up and then i can adjust the flame to a higher setting and there you go so this should make a really good um, addition to the van I'm going to do a test in the van with it uh, some videos I saw online talk about between one and three hours on the canisters depending on what setting you have it on so I'll do my own test on that but just wanted to let you guys see this you know 99 bucks on uh, Amazon uh, very well made sturdy unit it's got a lot of good feedback on in the YouTube community with off-roading people and people that use tents and different things. People that live in their vans, their vehicles, their pickup trucks use this. It's nice and compact. It's small, and it's not as bulky as the um, buddy heater, which I'll show you here. This is the regular buddy heater right here. So you can see the difference. This is obviously... In the van, it works in the van, but it's a little bit too much. Uh, it does work. It takes the larger canisters here. And then I have the bigger one with the double canisters. And these buddies can also be hooked to my 20-pound uh, cylinders, propane cylinders. So I've got some pretty good heat backup. So I just want to introduce this, the Covia Cupid, Cupid gas heater. Uh, again, these butane canisters. My stove runs on those as well in the van, so now I have a heater and a stove that takes the same fuel. So it's pretty, it's a pretty much of a no-brainer there. Just 
as long as you got enough of these cylinders, if you're traveling, especially in the cold weather, um, you could save yourself if you get stuck in a uh, traffic jam or you're off the in a snow drift somewhere. You can keep yourself alive with this thing. Okay, so that's the uh, video today. I'll do more tests on it. I just wanted to get a get a um, get a uh, um, an intro video out. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay ready. Anthony signing off.